As most of you know, I recently made the switch from AGM to lithium in my canopy setup and I'm absolutely loving it. But as promised, today we're doing a full comparison on the differences between AGM and LiPo4 lithium to help you decide which is right for you because as much as everyone raves about lithium, the truth is they both have their pros and cons. Now, I know there's a bunch of videos on YouTube already discussing the differences between the two, but most of them are quite long and go into more detail than the average person needs. And that can be a little bit overwhelming when you're just trying to make up your mind on what battery to buy. So I thought I'd just try and cover the main differences between the two and get everything done in under five minutes, hopefully. So let's chuck five minutes on the clock and get started. And just a quick reminder, we're talking about LifePro 4 lithium in this video because lithium ion is a different animal. Let's get this out of the way straight up. Lithium is a lot more expensive than AGM. It has been coming down over the past few years, but there's still a massive difference. Here's some prices I found online for a few different AGM and lithium batteries, all around 100 to 120 amp hour. Whether or not they're worth that crazy price tag is really up to you, but hopefully the rest of these points will help you answer that question. Point number two is weight, and we touched on this when I was installing this battery in the setup, but my old 100 amp hour AGM weighs 27 kilos, whereas this new 120 amp hour lithium weighs under 10. That's about one third of the weight, and what's even more crazy is that even though both these batteries have a similar capacity, so 120 amp hour versus 100 amp hour, the lithium will actually run on my accessories for about twice as long. And that brings us on to point number three. Let's talk about discharge levels. So for an AGM battery like this, we can only drain it down about 50% before we have to charge it back up again. So for a 100 amp hour AGM battery, we can only use about 50 amp hours. And that kind of sucks. Technically, you can draw a little bit more than that, but doing so risks damage to the battery and also shortens its lifespan. Lithium, by comparison, we can draw more than 80% depending on the model. This particular one, for example, I can draw 105 amp hours from its 120 amp hour capacity, and that works out to around 87%. A discharge rating refers to how much power we can draw from the battery at one time, and this is one of those areas where AGM absolutely destroys lithium. Make sure you keep an eye out for this rating on LiPo4 batteries because it's one of those specs that really separates the good from the bad. This battery, for example, is one of the better ones, I'd say, and it's got a discharge rating of 175 amps for up to five minutes make sure you keep an eye out for that spec on LiPo4 batteries in particular because they do vary a lot and I've seen some as low as 50 amps which is okay for running a fridge and some basic lights but no good for bigger accessories. That's all well and good for how we use the batteries but what about getting charged back in again? Well, this is measured as charge efficiency, and what this basically means is that if I was to connect a 40 amp DC-DC charger, how many of those amps are getting into the battery? AGM is actually pretty good in this department with a charge efficiency of around 85%, but lithium is even better with a charge efficiency of 97%. Next, let's talk about lifespan. So how long are these batteries gonna last before you have to replace them? Now, obviously everyone's gonna use their batteries differently and someone who's draining their battery down and charging it up again every single day, they're gonna go through batteries a lot faster than someone who just uses them for the odd weekender. So the most accurate way to compare the two is with charge cycles. Charge cycles is how many times on average a battery can be drained down and then charged back up again. Obviously there's gonna be a bit of variance with this, but generally speaking, we can expect about 500 charge cycles from an AGM battery like this. Whereas with lithium, we get closer to 4,000 charge cycles. So about eight times the lifespan. Actually, this particular lithium battery is rated at 4,000 life cycles to 80%, which means it will still be working perfectly fine after 4,000 charge cycles. Just the maximum capacity will only be 80% of what it was originally, but honestly, that's still pretty decent. Number seven is pretty minor, but that's how we keep an eye on charge level. Now for AGM batteries, the voltage varies a lot when we're draining them down. So you can just use a cheap volt gauge from eBay or even a multimeter to monitor charge level with 12.8 volts being full and 12.05 volts being empty. 
Well, technically 50%, but that's empty for AGM. Whereas lithium will read 13 volts all day long because there's nowhere near as much variance in that voltage as we're using the charge. So what most people do is get a battery monitor and a shunt, but obviously they're a lot more expensive and more complicated to install than a volt gauge. However, I did recently pick up this new style of volt gauge designed to work with lithium batteries. It picks up on those small variances within the 13 volt range and delivers that information as a battery percentage. I've only used it for a couple of trips, but it seems to work pretty well. I'm not 100% sure on the accuracy, but I mean, for me, I'm just happy to have a cheaper option for giving me a rough idea on my battery level. Anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I'm not sure how we went for time, but hopefully it was somewhere around that five minute mark. And hopefully it gave you a better idea on the differences between AGM and lithium batteries. Honestly, there is no right or wrong for your setup. So if AGM ticks all the boxes for you, then go for it. I happily run AGM in my canopy for about four years. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.